What's up guys, it's Goonzig here. Welcome back to another Fortnite video here on the channel. In this one guys, we're going to be going over the best way to complete all the challenges in Fortnite. And this is just going to be like my opinion and kind of like how I go about doing it, you know, throughout a week of playing, how you're going to complete all of those challenges for that week before the next week comes out. Because if you get too far behind, like then you're just left with a bunch of challenges. So this is going to be a video just giving you guys some tips in, in my opinion on what the best way to complete all the challenges in Fortnite is. Let's get into it. So guys, before I get into my opinion on what the best way to complete all the challenges is, I want you guys to go down in the comments and let me know what is the best way to complete all the challenges in your opinion. What do you guys do to go complete all the challenges? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new around here, guys, I would appreciate it if you go down, click that subscribe button, become a member of the Goon Squad, click that thumbs up if you guys do enjoy this video at any point in time, and let's get on with the topic. So the best way to complete all the challenges in in Fortnite. What are you going to do? How are you going to go about doing it? What are, we, what are we gonna do? Where do you start? And if you're if you're like new to the game, it might be a little hectic at first. Like there's a lot of challenges. You gotta get kills. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta go here. You gotta follow a treasure map. Like it can be pretty hectic at times, especially if you're new to the game. Now I figured I would kind of like keep it basic and just give you guys like simple tips. And to start it off, I think the most simple way to do it is to just look at the challenges before you start playing and plan them like into your games plan the challenges into your games plan your routes and in the long run you're basically just gonna finish the challenges by playing and it's as simple as that if you look up on Google where the treasure map location is, then you know where you gotta go to get that battle star and complete that challenge. If you know where you gotta go and get kills or search chests, you can kind of plan it to, you know, go and drop in those areas, start off in those areas when, you know, maybe the bus, if the bus is near the area where you need kills, drop then, cause it's gonna be hectic. If the place where you need chests is like way off in the distance, that might be a good game to go there because there might not be a lot of people going for that area. And you might be able to get, you know, all seven chests in one game. You gotta think about it and kind of do it logically, especially if you don't play very much and you want to kind of maximize your, your challenge completion <laughs> while you're playing. You kind of need to like know where you need to go. You need to know when you need to use certain guns. Make sure you know, you know, like if you, if you look and see that there's a challenge to get a kill with a pistol, it might be good to use a pistol at the start of the game game to go ahead and get that challenge rather than waiting till like the end of the game and being like oh crap like I need a pistol kill so know your challenges and kind of plan it out plan your routes plan when you're gonna do stuff one big tip I have is you can actually like knock someone and then say you need a sniper kill or a pistol kill if you're in duos playing with a buddy and you knock someone you can then finish them off with say the sniper and then get a sniper kill that will count as a sniper kill so that's one thing one tip if you're like bad with a sniper or bad with explosives or something knock someone down run over throw an explosive at their feet and then get that explosive damage there are little things you can kind of or, or i guess little tricks you can kind of bring into the the game or bring to the playing field when you're trying to get the challenges done like you don't need to straight up snipe people and then keep sniping them to get the kill you can kill them with an m4 or down them with an m4 and then boom finish them off with a sniper if you're in solo you just gotta snipe them in the head but uh yeah like most of the challenges that are related to the the guns or kills can kind of just be done by simply just playing so the more you play like the the more kills you're gonna get if you're using different guns and everything those challenges are just gonna get completed by you playing I know I mentioned this earlier, but you gotta also land at certain spots kind of based off of your challenges. Now, I have a few big tips going for like the kill challenges. There's always a challenge, it's like, you know, get three kills in retail row. Or there's always a challenge, it's like open seven chests in junk junction. And basically, the way you wanna go about doing this is kind of think about it logically. So if you need to open chests do you want a thousand people landing there with you? You know, you kind of want to be like the only one there so that you can go in and open a bunch of chests and say like 
Junk Junction, for example, it's way off in the middle of nowhere. You don't really want to spend like 10 games going there where, you know, three of the games you don't even get a chest and then every other game you get one chest because it's packed with people. If you plan to go and, you know, get those chests or land at the area where you need chests, you know, when there's not a lot of people there, maybe later on in the week once everyone's kind of done that challenge, then you have a chance to go ahead and get like three chests in one game, four chests in one game, and then you're only landing there twice. So if it's an area way out there like Junk Junction, like Junk Junction is way out in the corner of the map, you can go ahead and maybe wait till later on in the week, till the, the chaos, till the hectic craziness of everyone trying to get that challenge done dies down, wait till that dies down, and then go do the challenge. Like the challenge isn't gonna disappear and you got a ton of time to do it. Now on the other hand, on the other side of things, the kill challenge. So when you have to go and get, you know, three kills in retail row, or I think the last week here was kill three enemies in shifty. I think that was the challenge. So shifty shafts, you know, it's usually not like a, an overpopulated place, but near the start of the week, when that challenge comes out, it's going to be hectic. So you can land there and probably get three kills in one game. Now, the problem comes in where, you know, say it's flush factory, like you got to get three kills at flush factory. So if you miss out on the, the first like couple days where everyone's going there, everyone's going for that challenge, getting kills in flush factory or whatever. Say you miss those couple days or, or that kind of a window where everyone's trying to do that challenge, then you're going to be left with, <laughs> yeah, it's only certain areas like flush factory is like one example where it's kind of true is like if you wait till later on there might not be a lot of people there like even shifty shafts last week like i waited a little bit and there were games where i landed there and no one else was there and earlier in the week i definitely landed there and it was busy so like the kill challenges you kind of want to do them earlier the chest challenges you can kind of wait a little bit and do them later on in the week and it's all about kind of just planning out your routes, planning out your games, and taking a, taking a few minutes to actually look at the challenges. And that's literally my biggest tip. Keep it simple, plan it into your games, look at the challenges, be like, okay, I need to do this, I can hit. You know, if you can hit a battle star or for like the treasure map or a search between three areas or whatever, if you can get a battle star and chests for a certain location and kills all in one game, go for it, like go for it and definitely do it. Now there are some weird challenges as well that I don't really like. Like last week we had one where we had to hit a golf ball from T to green on five different holes at Lazy Links. And it just doesn't really fit because like, it doesn't encourage you to like fight or anything. It just wants you to go like hit, hit a golf ball and you're standing there like, a chicken with your head cut off in the middle in the in the middle of like a field like I, I don't know I just don't really like those challenges when they throw them in but if you just dedicate some time and, and go for it and do it you can get it done pretty quick so maybe you can wait for a game when the bus isn't going like right through lazy links you can wait till like you have some space between the bus and lazy links land there get the challenge and then continue on with your game like you kind of gotta work it that way and, and kind of think about it that way or at least that's the way I do it like I try to work the challenges into my gameplay rather than like grinding out the challenges sitting down and being like all right I'm gonna just go for challenges like yeah I do that but I, I just play a normal game and kind of work the challenges and, and feed the challenges into that gameplay and it works out good and you stay on top of the challenges that way because if you're playing like all week anyways you might as well get the challenges done as you're playing so that's my look on it guys leave your opinion down in the comments below i basically just rambled for like 11 minutes so uh yeah fun stuff guys uh that's my opinion on it though like i i really think you just got to keep it simple and work it into your game but yeah. that's that and uh we're gonna end the video here so if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and i think i will catch you guys all in the next video peace out